Zael, come on. We can talk about this as much as you want afterwards. Just keep your mind on getting this done for now. Then we can get out of here. What, no enemies here either? <laughs> the spineless cowards must have heard you coming and ran. I'll bet! <laughs> Listen to that. What an arsehole. <laughs> My name's Captain McChuckles. Seriously though, if I have to see these guys again, I'm gonna throw a wobbly. Honestly, what's with him? Who laughs like that? He must be putting it on. What do you call this? <laughs> Here I thought the king of the Garak would be tough. He's nothing but a coward. Now this continent is ours. <laughs> Captain, perhaps we should take this castle as a reward for our deeds. <laughs> right. It'll make a nice winter home when I retire. <laughs> Please, stop it. All they wanted to do was live in peace. How could they hurt all those people so easily? How? Sail! Get a grip! Look around! If you want to stop this, then you need to be stronger. You can't just block it out. You're going to have to climb to the top and change things that way. Your own way. Get it? Now back to business. Finish up and we can get the hell out. Sail! Get a grip! Get it? One of the prisoners we captured let slip something strange. Strange? How? He said that the Gorak soldiers pulled out of here just before we attacked. You mean... I do. The enemy knew we were going to invade. It can't be. Are you saying one of us is an insider working for the Gorak? Who knows? Right now they're asking the prisoner for details. With extreme prejudice. This castle is now mine! <laughs> I still find it most odd that they left all this treasure without even one soldier to guard it. Perhaps it's a trap. Relax. They were just too terrified to do anything but run. How can these creatures be called knights? What would General Astar say? You saw. Are these the knights you so aspire to be like? It's not some fairy tale world of knights and princesses like in the stories. There is no freedom here. Only treachery and deceit. I don't want you to live in a world like that. Oi, new kid! Go and check that door there. There might be more Garak hiding through that way. I cannot entrust this to you alone. I will join you. No, Zael! Don't leave me here with Laughing Boy. After him! 
Damn! No! Wait! That's not a soldier. No! Wait! Oh. Human filth! You aren't killing us without a fight! Lower your weapons! The fighting's over! I won't hurt you! You're all so gaunt. Does Zangorak treat you badly? The soil of this land became barren long ago. Finding anything to eat is difficult. King Zangorak appeared wielding a strange power, and he united our people. He said if we go to the human continent, then we can live as we once did. These Garak are no different from us. It's the land's decay that's causing all this conflict. They're about to begin the bombardment. Hurry! Our forces will withdraw soon. You have to use that chance to escape. Bit of a one-sided invasion, this. Without warning, too. I mean, yeah. The Garak attacked us first, but they never touched civilians, yet here we are. A master's orders are absolute. It is a knight's duty to follow, no matter what the order. Well, how stupid's that? Just hacking away without thinking about it. In the end, all they have to do is say, I was just following orders. You think that's okay? Seren. All right, don't mess yourself. Stuff like that just gets to me, sorry. That's fine. Now, maybe we can wrap this up and have a little drinky. Hey, Zale? <laughs> ah. Help me, you lot! Mm. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Help! <laughs> Please help me, I beg you! Save me! <laughs> Now you'd better not forget what we've done for you, cause if you do... Yes, Mum! Uh, I, I won't, Mum! Ha ha ha! Serves you right! I feel so much better. Therius, can I ask you something? What? Dagrin often said that knights are no more than tools of those in power. That they sell their integrity for status. Becoming fools with no will of their own. Slaves to their own loyalty. <laughs> he would say something like that. Therius, do you ever regret becoming a knight? A foolish question. Hmm? If I had doubts, I would have turned back long ago. I do only what I believe is right.
Zale and the others quickly left, feeling as empty and ruined as the Gurak city itself. Questions bubbled in the minds of the people. Were the knight's actions justified? Was the assault itself? Why did the Gurak soldiers disappear? Why did they let their fortress be taken so easily? And yet, in the face of such a victory, these questions gave way to pride and were forgotten. Count Arganon was beside himself with glee. He had a moving island fortress with a mighty cannon, and through his victory over the Gurak, he had obtained vast quantities of wealth. These factors only drove the Count's ambition to still greater heights. A fateful day. Thanks to your valiant efforts, we were able to swiftly and decisively conquer the Gorak stronghold. And this man, Zael, has contributed more than any other. As such, I intend to have Zael officially knighted as a proud defender of Lazarus. And to grant him the hand in marriage of my beloved niece, Callista. Do I hear any objections? What's wrong, Zael? I just don't feel too good. You could try being a little happier. Your dream of becoming a knight, and your desire to marry Callista. They're both about to come true. Don't you feel anything, Dagrin? This... This meaningless conflict is only going to get worse. When have we ever complained about getting mixed up in meaningless conflicts? The only difference is that now, people will appreciate you for it. If you do well, then you can expect to be rewarded. What more do you want? Fine then. I get it. Just... leave me alone. 